you find that special someone, your other half, and from then on, you're both on the same journey, building a life together. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video, I hope you're all doing well. I decided just to pop on today, I don't usually do this, so if you'd like to just get straight into the DIY, let me know. Or if you'd like me to come and say hi sometimes, I just thought it would be nice to get to know me, it's a bit more friendly, get and see a face. And also today's video is in collaboration with some other amazing and talented YouTubers. I'm going to leave the playlist in the comments so once you're done watching my video be sure to check out their ideas as well. So today I have three Valentine's DIYs for you, let's get started. So for the first DIY I'm starting off with this, I'm just turning it around. This was part of a sign I previously used in another DIY. So I've just got this piece of wood, I'm going to remove the twine as well as staples. For the wood I'm going to start painting it with some white acrylic and then I'm going to add a heart embellishment and we're going to turn it into an envelope. Now that I've done this I'm going to be moving on to painting this heart embellishment and I'm using my Arteza paint, these are so good, I will leave the link in the description box for you. The colour that I'm using is Lilac A402, look at how beautiful the shade is, I love pastel colours. While I'm waiting for those to dry, I'm going to start painting the things I need for DIY number 2 and 3, just so that we've got all of the paint job done, and then we can move on to the DIYs quicker that way. So for the second DIY, I'm starting off with this jar. And what I'm going to be painting is the lid and also the base as well as this that came with it. It says memories but I'm going to just paint over that. I'm not going to need the twine so I'm just going to cut that off. Quickly give this a wipe because it's got some dust on it. So I'm choosing to paint this white and I'm using some of this. It's a <laughs> tester pot. So I've painted the base and the lid, I'm going to let that dry and then I'm also taking this I'm going to paint it using the rose pink Arteza paint and then you're going to also need one of these like pins, I can't remember what you call them, I'll probably remember after when I'm editing, that always happens and then I'm taking a brighter pink for this little piece here. Now that's all done, the final thing you want to do is take a piece of wood, this was actually a really big piece of wood I found in the garden and I cut it, so you've got a small round piece like this, this is for our third DIY by the way, and I think I'm going to use the rose pink colour just to paint the base. So we're coming back to the first DIY now and I've just made a marking with my pencil and I'm going to just go over it with my black sharpie pen so that we make it look like an envelope. I'm just taking my ruler and I'm going to draw along it and then I'm going to do the opposite side and once you've done that you're going to take your hot glue and apply some to the back of your heart embellishment and then just glue it down in the centre now to finish up, as you can see, I have started writing P.S. I love you. This was something that I wasn't going to add to the DIY until I started making it and filming. I just felt like something was missing and I knew what it was. And then I just went onto my Cricut and I found a really nice font that I wanted and cut it out. So I'm just applying it now. And I usually do all of this by hand. So you can do that as well if you want. Or you can print it out onto some paper and cut it out and just stick it on. Now we're done with our first DIY so let's move on to the second. Moving on to the gumball machine DIY which I think is going to be my favourite. As you can see my jar has a lot of space here at the bottom which I don't need so I am going to use a card just to fill that up so that all of my hearts fill this part of the jar where you can see it. So I've just drawn along the bottom of my jar on some card and cut it out so that I can just slot this inside. 
Next you're going to need some hearts or you can use balls, it's up to you what you want to use. But my jar is pretty big so I need a lot of hearts to fill it up. And you can take a card and fold it in half like this if you want a nice symmetrical heart. And then you're just going to cut it. And then once you open it up, it's going to be a nice heart shape. So I have used a Cricut machine just so that it can make my life a little bit easier and because I needed so many. And here are all my hearts. And what I've decided to do is because they're pretty flat, I am folding them in half. Now you'll see this took me a very long time because I've got so many, you'll see in a minute. Um, what I realise I can do is take a few hearts at a time and build them on top of each other and then bend it all. You can't do too many and it's not going to come out as neat as you, you know, if you were to do it individually. But I think it's fine. And as you can see now, we've got a few bent at one time. So I'm going to carry on doing that. And I've also chosen to use different colours because when you do have a gumball machine, they tend to be different colours inside there. So I'm making it a little bit more realistic. And again, I'm just folding them all. So I'm going to carry on doing that until they're all folded and I'll come back. This is quite a long job, but look who I've got helping me today. Just been really cute rolling around while I'm folding them all. Now you're going to take your little pin and add some hot glue to it. And then we're going to stick it to the wood piece. And I'm going to also cover that little hole we're going to take more hot glue and apply it all over the back and then stick it on just here I think and then you're going to take all your hearts look at how many I've got yep this was a lot of work here we go give it a nice mix And then I'm going to add them in. I think I'm going to need even more than this. Now I filled my jar up and I've screwed the lid on and I felt like something was missing. I knew it's a little piece up here. So I went around my craft room trying to search for something that just fits really nicely. Some things were too big, some things were too small. But I managed to find this lid here. It actually belonged to a spice, like those little spice jars that you can get. And I have painted it to match the colours that I've used before. So again using the Arteza Rose Pink. And this is dry now, so I'm just going to go and apply another coat because as you can see, one coat isn't enough. Now it's nice and dry, so I'm just going to apply hot glue all around the rim. And then we'll stick it onto the center of the lid. For our third DIY, you're going to need an old jumper. I've got this from the charity shop. And I'm going to cut it with some scissors. What I've done is draw a heart, if you can see, yeah, the camera's picking it up nicely. So I'm just going to get my fabric scissors, and because this is a sleeve, I'm not going to need a template and use the same heart to make another. You can just cut it and you're going to have two automatically. Once you have your two hearts, you're going to take your hot glue and attach them together. And I'm going to turn this inside out later on so that the patterned um, side shows and you can now get hot glue that's actually for fabric but because this isn't going to get washed or anything you don't need to use specialized glue I almost forgot to mention don't glue it all the way because you want to slip your fingers in and turn it the other way now and then we're also going to stuff this. I'm going to use some toy stuffing. Now I've got it all stuffed, there's a toy stuffing inside. I'm just going to take more hot glue and finish gluing it all together. I've got this stick from my garden and I'm just going to cut it with my pliers so that it's nice and straight. That was tougher than I thought. 
and I've also sanded it so it's really nice and smooth and now we're going to add it to the bottom I've got a little opening here and we're going to add some hot glue so that it's nice and secure you're going to add a lot of hot glue to the top be very careful with your fingers and then we're just going to secure it by adding more hot glue to both sides of the heart and now I brought back the wood that I painted earlier and I've got a matching bow in the same colour of the paint and I'm going to add it to the heart, not right at the bottom here here so that some of the white can be seen I'm just going to sand the bottom now so it's nice and even and then it will be easier to stick down onto our surface I've just took my scissors and I've made a hole in the centre of the wood just so that it can stick in nicely might need to make that a little bit bigger because I don't think the hot glue will be enough so just so that it's extra secure I'm doing this just applied the hot glue and I'm now sticking the stickers tight and here's the final project, starting off with the gumball DIY, which certainly took me a long time, but I really do love it. All of those pastel colours, it's just so pretty. And here's the PS I love you letter, I really do like this as well, and it reminds me of one of my favourite books I read as a child or a teen, the PS I love you, they made a movie out of it as well, but I don't think I've actually watched that yet. And then finally, our little heart. Topiary? Can we call it a topiary? I think we can get away with that, right? I had so much fun making all of these projects and I absolutely love the white and the pastels and the subtle pink colours. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed all of those ideas. Let me know which one is your favourite. You know, I love reading your comments and replying to them. And leave me a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed if you'd like to see more from me. Thank you so much. Don't forget to check out the playlist as well. Take care and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.